Hello beautiful people, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for clicking on another video. In today's video, we are starting the first episode of Friday Fit Tips. <sighs> Might have to put in like a sound effect, of like a cheer. Today is the first video of Friday Fit Tips. <laughs> Basically, I was thinking it would be cool if I did a video every Friday where I just share with you my fitness tips and tricks and just little things that I've picked up along the way, whether it's to do with motivation or food or eating healthily on a budget, like whatever it is to help me resist temptation and, you know, just prioritise my fitness. And um, so in today's video, as you can see by the title, I'm going to be sharing with you my three favourite food items right now for healthy eating. Now, there are loads that I can share with you, but I'm just going to make these videos like short and sweet and just, you know, throw some ideas out there. If you like them, great. If you don't, why? Why don't you like them? If you like this idea of Fit Tip Fridays, then let me know in the comments and let me know any like, you know, areas or topics you want me to cover in this new series. So without further ado, here is my first favourite food item for healthy eating at the moment. Give me a sec. Now I'm a little bit frustrated about this because this is not the specific item that I wanted to show you. Um, if you follow me on Instagram and watch a lot of my meal prep stories and videos that are on my highlights, you can go and check them out. Um, then you will probably have already seen this item, but just in case you've missed it, I absolutely love bean-based pastas and spaghettis, of which this is an example. But I'm not gonna lie, I haven't actually tried this specific brand yet, so I'll let you know um, if it tastes like crap. I'm gonna make it tomorrow, so I'll let you know. But the brand that I do know is one from Aldi. I'll try and put like a picture in somewhere. And they make like black bean spaghetti and edamame, edamame beans. I literally don't know why I can't say that, but like different type of beans. And they actually taste really good. Now the reason why I love these is because the ingredients are so simple. For example, this one is made out of organic edamame beans and organic mung beans. And when you look at the values of this, it is so high in protein. So per 100 grams, there is 42.3 grams of protein in this and only 11.3 grams of carbohydrates. Now I am not, you know, pushing on you the idea that carbs are bad. They're not, we literally need them to live. Um, but I just love those macros. It allows me to know that I'm getting enough protein in to keep my calorie content controlled. I'm not currently trying to drop the calories. But for any of you who are or who are gluten-free, I highly recommend trying some bean-based spaghettis you can just throw them in instead of your normal spaghettis or your normal pastas as a way of just kind of changing things up they look super cute as well because they're green when you post them on instagram it makes you look really healthy it makes you look like you know what you're doing in the kitchen they are a little bit more expensive than the normal pastas in fact that's a lie they're not even a little bit more expensive they are like double the price so if you're looking to save money then just bin it because these i think this box was like two pounds two pound fifty do you know how much normal spaghetti costs like 50p if you buy as the value. So yeah, they're a bit more pricey, but I love them. I personally think it's worth it. And I'm gonna be meal prepping with those tomorrow. Let me give you a little close up. Can you, can you see that? These aren't the brand and this is not sponsored. Look at those macros and ingredients. That is, that's pretty dope, pretty dope. Now for my second favorite food items at the moment, which honestly, if you don't already know about this, then you probably haven't been watching my channel, which is okay, it's totally fine, it's not like, I put hours into making these videos for you or anything. Spray light cooking sprays. I love these. They are just, basically you can use them to fry stuff, to like moisten stuff. That's weird. But like I'll spray it on my chicken before I cook it. I will fry my plantain with it. I will fry my eggs with it. And it just saves me from using a heck of a load of oil. Now don't get me wrong, I'm not an oil hater. I love a bit of olive oil and sunflower oil here and there. But when you add up the amount of oil and butter that you can be using and swap it in for these literally like one cal per spray sprays. I'm not gonna lie, I do use about 15 sprays, but still 15 calories. And let me get you a bottle of oil and just tell you what is in a tablespoon of oil. Here is some extra virgin olive oil. In 100 mils, that's quite a lot, no one really uses that. In 15 mils, there is 124 calories. That's like half a chocolate bar. That is a lot of calories just to like fry something. So, you know, that's a lot of calories and also a lot of fat. There's 14 grams of fat in just 15 mils of olive oil. So swapping this for this is for me, just a win. If you're looking to reduce your calories or if you're on a weight loss journey, then maybe try out these sprays. I really love them. I find that the food still tastes good. I'm not gonna lie to you. There is nothing quite like frying something in butter or hot olive oil. 
but these are a pretty good substitute and in my opinion worth it and my third favorite food item right now frozen fruit i love frozen fruit especially in this weather i am absolutely boiling right now it's so hot in this kitchen i mean i love the way my flat is very well lit and lets in a lot of sunlight but it can be a bit of a greenhouse sometimes so in summer specifically i adore buying frozen fruit now there are many reasons for that one is that you know this fruit bowl here is pretty cute but it's not very practical did you know that those bananas were green literally like yesterday how many bananas is a girl supposed to eat in a day how many trips back and forth to the supermarket am i supposed to do in a week i can't keep buying green bananas and keep stocking up on them it just goes off way too quick it's really stressful and so by <laughs> sorry i got a bit emotional there. so by buying my fruit frozen or freezing it after i buy it it lasts me so much longer so i don't have to stress about oh i need to eat that fruit before it goes off speaking of which i actually do need to eat a banana so instead of me stressing that i need to eat this fruit really quickly i know it's frozen in the freezer and i don't have to rush i love throwing them into smoothies with some greek yogurt or with some juices now sometimes people can stress that fruit has a lot of sugar in it now relative to other naturally occurring foods like vegetables yeah fruit can have more sugar than those foods but relative to the things that i used to eat like donuts i say used to eat still eat from time to time donuts and chocolate bars and other sweet foods man-made sweet foods it has so much less not only does it have less sugar than those other foods it also has a whole load of fiber and vitamins and nutrients that your body needs so every time i pick up a fructose filled banana and by the way less than you might think um, and eat one of those instead of reaching for a chocolate bar i know that i'm actually doing the right thing and getting a load of benefits as someone who personally kind of struggles with eating too much sugar and sugar is definitely like my bay i enjoy sugary food i find that switching my sugary foods for fruit alternatives not only helps me to reduce my overall sugar content increase my vitamin content increase my fiber content it also helps me to exercise arguably the most important health and fitness muscle of all which is self-control every time i reach for some frozen blueberries instead of a biscuit or chocolate bars i am telling myself that actually i can do this i can choose the better option over the worse option and i can do that consistently until i see my results so if you're someone like me who hates when food goes off too quickly or hates being pressured to get through their fruit before it goes off just try freezing it try freezing your bananas blending them up to make an ice cream freezing your blueberries melting them in the microwave to get best blueberry sauce for like a pancake or you can put it on toast with some yogurt oh i'm getting hungry now and there you have it three of my favorite healthy food items at the moment um let me know in the comments what you're loving what you're living for at the moment what's helping you stick to your goals um, and let me know if you try any of these i mean this is not that special not that original this you probably already know about but this these bad boys not this specific brand haven't tried it yet but the other brand Aldi, by the way, they sell them in Aldi if you live in the UK. Um, but other shops are available because Aldi haven't paid me to say that. <laughs> That's it. Thank you so much for watching the first ever episode of Fit Tip Fridays with moi. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, share it with a friend, leave me a comment, join me on Instagram and Twitter. Oh, I'm sweating. And Facebook and my blog. <laughs> and I will see you in my next video. Bye.